Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Indiana coach Rick Carlisle is done with these refs. And Wednesday night he let them have it. After feeling his pacers were getting the short end of the officiating stick, first Carlisle got ejected from their 130-121 game 2 loss to the Knicks, then he unloaded on the referees afterward. He accused them of bias against small market teams, and said Indiana will submit a list of supposedly blown calls to the NBA. Rick Carlisle on the overturned double dribble call toward the end of Q4 tonight. That's small beans compared to everything else. Small market teams deserve an equal shot. They deserve a fair shot no matter where they're playing pick.witter.com b x f d h s p f x t New York Post Sports, at Nipa Sports, May 9, 2024, we deserve a fair shot, and it's just not Carlisle said. There's not there's not a consistent balance. And that's disappointing. So give New York credit for the physicality that they're playing with. But their physicality is rewarded, and ours is penalized, just time after time. I'm just really disappointed. Just really disappointed. The two technicals, you've gotta make a stand for your guys. You've gotta stand up for what's right and what's not right, and that was it. Carlisle got his technicals with 33 seconds left, coming onto the court to argue for a double dribble call against Isaiah Hardenstein, that was overturned after a brief huddle among the officials. Carlisle got in the face of official Mark Davis. The same ref Denver's Mike Malone accosted two nights earlier. Malone didn't even get a technical. Carlisle got two in the boot. Rick Carlisle on the 29 plays the Pacers thought were called incorrectly in Game 1, but didn't submit to the league again, criticizing Josh Hart's shove of Therese Halliburton tonight. But it felt like a delayed release of pent-up frustration after Monday's Game 1 loss, when the Pacers cited 29 calls that went against them, including an incorrect kickball call on Aaron Nesmith. I decided not to submit them, because I just felt like we'd get a more balanced whistle Game 2. It didn't feel that way Carlisle said. In the third, the whole world knows Therese Halliburton's got a bad back, and Josh Hart comes up and shoves him in the back. And J.B. DeRosa is looking right at it, you can see him, he's got vision of the play. He shoves Therese right in the corner, and there's no whistle. Right in the back. That was shocking. And there are many others. But I promise you we're going to submit these. Halliburton said he wasn't hurt on the play, and they didn't lose solely because of the refs, but that they have been getting the short end of the stick. Would I like more consistency? Yeah, but let's not pretend like that's the only reason we lost. We just didn't play good enough Halliburton said. Yeah, we'd like consistency. I don't think he double dribbled, 